Circuit breaker. I'm sure you would have come across this term in financial news and stock reports. But do you know what are circuit breakers? Why is it used and what are its functions? Let's find out in this video. If you're new around here, this channel is all about promoting financial literacy and helping you with personal finance and investing. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell for regular updates. Circuit breaker is an electric term used for a switch that is automatically triggered in case a circuit is overloaded, thereby stopping the flow of electricity. Similarly in the context of stock markets, circuit breaker is an automatic mechanism to curb excess price volatility by placing trading halts on a particular stock or index for a certain period of time. On 9th of March 2020, the NYSE halted trading for 15 minutes resulting from a circuit breaker caused by a 7% drop in the S&P 500 index on account of the global coronavirus pandemic. On 12th of March 2020, Indian markets witness circuit breakers being triggered when the Nifty 50 index crashed 10.07% resulting in a trading halt of 45 minutes. Circuit breakers are predefined threshold values in percentage terms, which when breached, automatically trigger a trading halt for a short period of time. These upper and lower price limits are calculated based on previous closing price of the stock or index. As you can see, these are the index-based market-wide circuit breakers as per NSE, with details pertaining to the index trigger limit and time, and duration of market halt. Let us now understand the functions of circuit breakers in markets. 1. Protects market from a free fall or total collapse. 2. Stops panic selling caused by unprecedented news or a flash crash. 3 calms down the market by taking a trading break to absorb information and reassess strategies, and 4, controls the abnormal trading volumes and curbs volatility. Trading bands represent the permissible price limits within which a particular stock can move freely on a given day. Each stock has an upper and lower price band, which if breached results in a trading halt of that individual stock and not the whole market. The difference between circuit breakers and trading bands is that the former is applicable to the market index and its triggers levels are decided by SEBI, whereas the latter is applicable to individual stocks and is determined by the stock exchange. With that we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Please check out our social media and if you like the content, be sure to drop some likes, comments and share it with your connections. Thanks for watching.